Say it again. How much do those three pointers mean hitting those in, uh, in game one, given your history? Uh, I mean, when I was in Toronto, I probably shot like corner threes only every day before and after practice. So uh, I know Jim Sam probably was happy I hit those corner threes. He ain't tell nobody, but <laughs> he probably was happy because we shot corner threes literally like every single day and a lot of them. <laughs> what, yeah. what's it like what's it like being back in Toronto does it does it remind you of your people start here and all your experiences uh, I mean it feels good being back here um, I mean I actually you know I like the city of Toronto um, pretty dope city you know it reminds me a little bit of Chicago um, yeah you know me getting my start here in the NBA um, you know that's another reason you know, it feels good to be back here just to play against these guys is this how you remember the home crowd being this loud? Um, yeah, the home crowd always been always been loud, always been um, energetic. But um, yeah, this is the final, so you know this is a different kind of um, you know it's a different kind of loud in here. Are you expecting any sort of increase or with whatever's going on with Um, I don't know. You know, I just wait till Coach called my name and um. You know, just come in ready. You know, that's some something, something we always talk about. Um, you know, just be ready when your name calls. So, you know, if it is an increased role, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable enough to go out there and, you know, do my part. But if not, you know, I'm still, um, you know, still going to be ready for however many minutes I get. Is this kind of a different and fun challenge maybe for you because the Raptors have speed in that transition game and, and you can finally kind of maybe match your speed? Is it, is it just a different challenge for you? Do you enjoy it? Um, yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, I've always been a guy that just like r running, really. Um, I like getting up and down the floor and transition. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's kind of fun just to get out there and run against these guys and, you know, just try to, you know, get different, uh, get different opportunities in transition. As you go through these playoffs, what's your, your take on your teammates' reaction to adversity like this, down one nothing? Had a few bumps in a couple of earlier playoff rounds. Uh, I mean, I don't think us going down no one, you know, I don't think it, it, it phased too many guys. Um, I mean, guys, they they done been through pretty much everything. Uh, they done been through worse. So, you know, us being down 0-1, um, yeah, I don't think guys really too phased. You know, we went back, watched film um, a couple of days ago, watched it again yesterday, practiced, over, practiced some things. So, um, you know, I'm just expecting guys to come out this game, you know, more focused and, um, you know, um, ready to, you know, take game two. You see guys kind of mad at, at themselves for game one or just more just business-like and just fix what we, we did? Yeah, I think it is, it's a more business-like atmosphere. Um, like I said, you know, guys, we we know what we did wrong. You know what we can correct. And um, we watched the film and, you know, it's just a matter of going out tonight and, you know, um, executing the game plan. How do you fix transition defense when that's a big issue that's been talked about? Uh, Getting back, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's shooting around. We practice, you know, when the ball go up, you know, three people get back or how many people get back, and um, yeah, I think that's gonna be one of the one of the key key focuses. Um, you know, just us getting back in transition and, and you know, limiting um, their transition points. Is that a split second thing where you just gotta if you, if you're a split second late, you're you're cooked on the transition? Yeah, I mean, they got some pretty fast guys. Um, Pascal, pretty fast guy. He's just. Um, you know, down the floor before everybody. So, yeah, you know, that split-second decision um, is key. But, um, I mean, if we know, you know, that's the that's the game plan for us to get back. I mean, once the shot goes up, uh, once it leaves the other guy's hand, you know, you should just get back. So, um, yeah. Aside from a couple players, Last one. what's the biggest difference you've noticed throughout your team from when you were here? You said besides the players? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, don't know, I mean, Pascal got better from last year, so. <laughs> That's surprising. <laughs> nah, I mean, he, he's always been a hard worker. Um, you know, it was just a matter of time. <clears throat> Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, second half. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. I was very happy with the results. Yeah, well, not a great game, but uh, reminded me of uh, another team uh, that had too much time off in a recent <laughs> playoff game.
<laughs> Only the result was more positive for uh, Liverpool, but that uh, yeah, no, was fun to watch. I didn't get to, to the bar that you mentioned. I did not get to that place that you mentioned, but yeah, it would have been fun. Uh, Kevin is uh, fine. He didn't go through uh, our shoot around. He's with our trainer, and uh, so he's out, obviously. And uh, another another day, another uh, step forward in his rehab progress. When you get back to Oakland Monday, you did no practice. You're not uh, no practice tomorrow. Yeah. So you're only going to have one practice before the game three. Right. Practice. Yeah. If Kevin is cleared for a practice, it's it's uh, it's feasible, um, but again, um, it's it's really a day-to-day -day thing, and it's it's you know if we had a crystal ball, we would have uh, we would have uh, known a long time ago what we were dealing with. But it's just an injury that's um, uh, there's been a lot of gray area, and so it literally is just day-to-day -day and how the how the progress is coming and. And at this point, he's still not ready. He's still not been cleared for Right, he still has not been cleared for a full practice. How would you describe the Toronto side? How do you describe the Toronto crowd? The Toronto crowd? That was fantastic. Great energy. Um, you know, first, first ever finals game in, in Canada, and, and uh, it felt like it. You know, the crowd was ready, and uh, their team was ready. So, unbelievable atmosphere in here and uh, that's what makes it fun you know it's exciting to play in a venue like this in front of a crowd like this so I'm excited to, to be part of it again tonight well Jacob is an excellent defensive guard and uh, so you know he got a few minutes against Lillard last game when uh, Andre was out and um, you know if there's some his spot spot minutes here and there in this series uh, where we need uh, his defense and somebody's in foul trouble or injured, then I'm not afraid to, to put him out there. What makes you guys so good? What's that? What makes you guys so good? Bouncing back and lost your record in last nine games. Well, these guys have seen it all. They're a championship team. Um, you know, championship teams generally bounce back well. Um, in, uh, in times of adversity, and uh, so our team has always responded well after after a loss, and that's uh, that's the plan tonight. Sam called the situation fun. He actually used that word. He likes the challenge. Do you share that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is way better than uh, getting ready for the lottery and holding draft <laughs> workouts. <laughs> I think uh, part of being in this position uh, is embracing. Uh, the challenge and um, you know when you're finished playing like like I've been for a long time now you look back and you relish uh, the, the, the types of challenges that you faced as an athlete as a team and you, you think man I'd love to do that again um, because it's the ultimate test for your team and uh, there's there's a lot at stake um, somebody's gonna win somebody's gonna lose but uh, you're in the fight, and that's all you want. You want to be in the fight. That's what every team in the league is shooting for every single year. So to be one of the last two teams five years in a row in the fight for a championship, it's incredible. It's what an opportunity, what a privilege. So that's how we look at it. Did Brad Myers ever mention, like, oh, we're working this guy out or this guy, or does he talk to you about the draft? The draft? This? Or he doesn't want to distract you. Uh, if the if the if the moment is right, if you know, the other day we had a draft workout uh, before we came to Toronto for Game One, and all the guys were walking into our facility uh, as we were finishing practice. So I talked to Bob briefly about who was coming in and who they had their eye on, but I, I don't pay a, pay close attention to that. What do I see changing tonight? Uh, our transition defense. That's what I, I hope to see change. I think our defense in general is is uh, is where we need to improve. Uh, you know, we gave up 118 points. Um, you know, this is the finals, and you know, we, you can talk about 
our shooting percentage or, you know, what they did to, to slow down our, our offense. But we scored 109 points. It's enough to win the game. Um, but we gave up 50% shooting. We gave up 118 points, 24 fast break points. So uh, it's all about the defense tonight, and we've got to make big improvements.